sorry to be so long. I was waiting and waiting for the Krankenschwester. Mama? Mama? Not again. Oh. No, not yet. We'll wait till it passes. There's a flat above it and a garden for a little one. This is our chance to get out the East End. It's, uh, it's gonna be a no, isn't it? What about my mother? Take her to a doctor, Leia. My doctor's Charlie. I won't even discuss it. It's 12 years since she left this flat. Do you think that doesn't make me feel as trapped as she is? Do you think I want to be stuck here? In prison in this house of ghosts? Talk to her, Leia. Talk to her. So, you are a nun. Yes. And a midwife. That's right. It is truly a wonderful thing what you do. Bringing life into the world. Seeing everything made new. Everything is coming along nicely, but I've ticked Leia off. She's been trying to do too much. That's my fault. I make work for her. I'm sure that's not true. She has attacks. Attacks? Dizzy spells. It's garnished. Nothing. It's not nothing. What if you have a dizzy spell when you're out and about? You may fall and hurt yourself. I don't go outside, so that will not happen. You don't go outside? Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. The attacks, they come and they go. We can arrange for a doctor to drop by and see you. There's no need for a doctor. She just needs peace and quiet. And peace and quiet I get at home. That's perfect. You just need to take it easy now these last few days. Don't worry, sister. I do all the housework today. Uh, not only is it our Shavuos soon, it is also the festival of Shavuos. I've heard of Shavuos. Isn't it the Feast of Weeks, the day you read the Book of Ruth? And the day I make cheesecake. <laughs> a recipe from the Chaim. <laughs> you want to try a bit? Oh, I've got to get back in time for evening prayer. <laughs> I do love the story of Ruth. Whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Chair, oh. Oh. Sorry. Don't lift her or she'll vomit. I'm sending for the doctor, Leia. I'm sending for the doctor, if not for your mother's sake, then for your babies. Not least, because it means I can ask you some questions. Aside from dizziness, nausea and hearing loss, does your mother have any other symptoms? She hasn't set foot outside this flat for 12 years. 12 years? Please don't take her away. I know she's lost her mind, but I can look after her. What makes you think she's lost her mind? During the war, Mama and I were in the Nazi ghetto. A miracle happened and we escaped. We lived in a cellar till it was safe. When we returned home, our family, our friends were gone. Soon after, we moved to London and these attacks start. You see now? Mrs. Moss, I am not going to take your mother anywhere. You've lost enough. She's lost enough. But we do need to get to the bottom of what ails her. I told you, it's her mind that ails her. Not necessarily. It's possible we may be looking at a form of vertigo, something called Menier's disease. It's a problem with the inner ear. The ear? Yes. And there are medications we can try. Really? A fear of leaving home is quite common with many as sufferers. It may be that everything's related. So if you treat her ear, she'll be able to go outside? There is every reason for optimism. <sighs> After 12 years, I can hardly believe it. Thank you both. Thank you. A problem with my ear, and it can be mended. 
The doctor believes so. It means you can leave the house, Mama. It means you don't need to be scared anymore. And the timing couldn't be better. What do you mean? You know, we always talk of moving to Northwest London. Well, Benny Kaufman has asked Charlie to be the manager of his shop <laughs> in Golders Green. And there's a flat too, with room for all of us. I see. So much news you give me, all in one evening. We need to let Benny know by Sunday, Mama. And today is Shabbos. On Sunday, we start packing. Maybe I should wait until after I get the tests. You'll have to leave the flat to get the tests. What if I have an attack? You do want to go out. Would I be doing this? Would I be struggling like this if I didn't want to? Try, Mama. Please, try. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's try again. Mrs. Reuben, when I was 12, there was a horse that lived on the farm next door. He'd been a fine racer, but then was kept in the stable so long he wouldn't come outdoors anymore. So the farmer tried a tiny bit of time. You think I'm an alter cliature and don't know what you're doing? Coming into my house and calling me a horse? Yes. All right, it was a silly idea, but... I cannot sit back and watch your family fall to pieces after everything you've been through. What about this story? It's about a heroine called Cyril Rubin, who fought and beat the most evil humans in history, who saved her daughter's life. And left her family and friends behind. <laughs> Some heroine. Listen to me. You are a warrior, Mrs. Reuben. You can fight this. Take my arm. Take it. That's right. No, no, please! Baby's a beauty, that's for sure. They named her yesterday at the synagogue. Elizabeth Malka. Oh. Ruben. Leah! Mama! Would you want to breed the baby out in that thin schmutter? She'll catch pneumonia. 